Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm excited to start this symposium off with a brief presentation of the role that the emotion plays in motivating human behavior uh, as a lead to the discussions we'll be happy, having about how music might motivate urgently needed action uh, to combat climate change. Uh, the problem, as I see it, is that uh, more and more people are beginning to recognize the seriousness of the climate pro uh, crisis and the need to do something urgently uh, to keep it from getting any worse. Uh, this is good. Uh, awareness is the first step towards action, but it doesn't guarantee action without two important psychological ingredients. Uh, the first one is an emotional appreciation uh, of the problem. The second is a sense of efficacy, that our actions as individuals and as, and as a society can make a difference in reducing this threat. I think music can supply both of these key ingredients needed for action. Uh, let's start first with emotion. Uh, the reason we have emotions is because they give meaning to our lives and they energize us to act, to run from or avoid something that uh, makes us fearful or to approach something that, uh, that attracts us and makes us feel good. Um, and what, we've, what we know is that information lacks meaning unless it conveys an emotion or a feeling. For example, the meaning of words is strongly determined by the emotions that they communicate to us. Uh, consider the instant feeling you get when you hear the word hate or the word pleasure. The feeling you get is the key element in the meaning of these words for you. And information that doesn't create feelings or emotions lacks meaning and won't motivate us to act. Here's what I'm talking about. The impacts of climate change are terrible and we'll be getting much worse if we don't take quick and decisive action. We trust our emotions to sound the alarm, but what we've learned from scientific studies that is confirmed by looking at what's going on in the world is that our feelings often deceive us when it comes to valuing important events like disasters that can cause great damage or loss of lives. We value individual lives greatly and do much to protect them because a person in distress sends a strong emotional signal to us. But our emotions don't do arithmetic very well. That individual life we value so highly loses its value when it's part of a bigger problem. This happens quickly. Think how bad you might feel when learning about a threat to a single child's life from COVID. What if you learned that two children were at risk? You likely won't feel any different. Our intuitive feelings uh, don't add very well. What is even worse is that if you learned that a hundred children's lives were at risk, you might feel even less concern than you did when you heard about one life. The numbers convey little emotion. As someone once said, statistics are human beings with the tears dried off. We call this lack of emotion psychic numbing, and it causes us to be passive or indifferent to many of the most important problems uh, in the world today, such as genocides and mass atrocities, the extinction of species, pandemic diseases, poverty, famine, and climate change. Another way our feelings demotivate us is that they lull us into a false sense of hope hopelessness. When we think our actions won't make a significant difference, uh, that they're a drop in the bucket, so to speak, uh, we don't even act when that drop may be quite valuable. The bad feelings we get when thinking of all we can't do discourage us from doing what we can do. That's wrong and dangerous. So where do music and climate change come into this story? Climate change, as dangerous as it is, doesn't move us emotionally except briefly after the latest disaster. Scientists' data about temperature increases or rising sea levels don't trigger our emotions as they should. So we fail to act despite the stern warnings of climate scientists. Moreover, the enormity of the climate problem leaves us feeling that our actions won't matter. So why bother? Psychic numbing and, and a sense of helplessness are certain to lead to climate catastrophe. 
music has the power to inform and energize our emotions and our bodies, and in this way to overcome psychic numbing. Music has the power to bring us together as a community with shared values and emotions and the feeling that if we work together, our actions will matter and we can change the world for the better. As a scientist, this is my hope. I look forward to our discussions today about how to make this exciting possibility happen. Thank you.